is no slight to them at all. But DoorDash, definitely, your days are fucking numbered. How do you know when your emotional intelligence has grown a little bit? Okay, I had an event this weekend that I had to go to, and the event was top tier, all right? It was a very great event. I learned a lot. I made some new connections uh, for future collaborations, and so I really had a great time. But in this event, or in the event of this event, while the event was going on, right, I had to... I had chosen to order food and the restaurant I ordered food from used DoorDash. Now today, we're gonna be talking about how to know when you have grown emotionally. And I just wanna give you a little bit of motivation this morning, you know, so you can realize that you can do it too because I can say that I had a temper back in the day, all right? And I didn't always know how to control my temper. And then I realized that when I did let my temper go, it really didn't serve me and it uh, really gave the other person or um, whatever it was that, that made me upset enough to lose my temper. It gave that thing the power. So I had to quickly learn that, you know, if I can control my emotions, then I keep the power. All right. And so I was tested this weekend. Okay. I was tested this weekend. Um, anyway, like I said, I was out of town. I ended up wanting to order from this restaurant and I, and the restaurant used DoorDash, right? So I'm, I know how to use DoorDash. I know how it works. I get the notification. I see that the person is on their way. They picked up the food, all of that, right? So I text the person a picture of what I look like so that they can know who they were delivering the food to when they get to the hotel that I was at. All right. And so I'm waiting I'm talking to people outside, I'm waiting, and then I get a message that the food was delivered. Well, I'm standing in front of the hotel, so I didn't see anybody. So I immediately called the door dasher and asked where did the food get dropped off at? And, and they told me that there was a food section in the hotel and that the food should be there. Mind you, if the door dasher dropped the food off at the hotel that I was standing in front of, we literally had to miss each other by 30 seconds. Okay, so I walked right into the place that she said that she dropped it into. It was nothing but some McDonald's and some Chinese food in there. So I called her back and I'm like, hey, I don't see the food. She immediately gets an attitude with me. So my first response was, I sent you a picture of what I look like so that you could give me the food. Well, apparently the talk back she did not like, I ended up getting hung up on, right? We didn't even really get to have a conversation. So needless to say, I was pissed because I had already spent my money on this food, but we don't have the food, but we still got to eat, right? So I'm even more livid that I have to go spend more money and I'm not even going to get to enjoy the food that I wanted to eat initially. We waited an hour for this food and it did not show up. But then I was like, you know, there's several hotels around here on this block. Let me just walk to the nearest two and see maybe if she delivered it to the wrong hotel. I went to the first hotel, nothing. Went to the second hotel, nothing. Neither one of these hotels had the food either, right? So at this point, I don't even want the food now. I've been, you know, I don't even want the food now, but I do want my money back. But since I did not order it through the DoorDash app, I now have to go through the store to get this refund for the food that I never received. Now, I realize it's not the restaurant's fault. It is completely DoorDash's fault, right? So I don't have any frustration with the restaurant, but I did have to send them what happened because DoorDash referred me to them to get my refund. But they told me that they barred this person from ever delivering again, but I was so livid and there was nothing I can do. It was nothing I could do. So that was a test because when I felt my temperature rising, it was an oh so familiar feeling, okay? I could have done so many things uh, in retaliation to feeling the way that I was feeling, but I'm going to tell you what I did, okay? And this is how I know that I have grown, all right? <laughs> the moment where I felt that I could have screamed and kicked and cried and broke something, okay? Because I cry when I'm mad, all right? I took some deep breaths and I thought about it and I said, you know what? No, I don't have the food. Yes, I do want the food, but I don't have the food. Two, do I really want the food after having to look for it for 25 minutes after she said she delivered it? No. Uh, you know, so I had to, and then I said, 
I am in a situation where I had the money to pay for something and then I still had money to purchase more food since we didn't get to eat that food. And I was like, this person with their funky attitude has hung up the phone on me and they're probably in a worse off situation than I could ever be in because I didn't do anything to warrant her response and she had my food, okay? So right then and there, I realized how much I had grown. I, I really I really realized that. And, and, this, and this brings me to this. When you're talking about self-care, it's all about how you're talking to yourself. How are you managing your emotions, right? Like, how do you calm yourself down? And what do you tell yourself when things happen that are opposite of the frequency or the vibe that you feel like you're carrying, right? I had a wonderful weekend. I met some amazing people. It was nothing but good vibrations. And something tells me that maybe the enemy came through and was like, oh, she's too happy. Everything's going too good. Let's throw some salt in the game and not let her get her food. Well, I feel like I've passed with flying colors because I... Ended up calm, calming myself down, even though it is a messed up situation. I ended up calming myself down and I realized that, you know, I'm going to get my money back. Yeah, I didn't get to get the food. I had to be inconvenienced and go buy something else, but I was able to do it. So that kind of really calmed me down. If you've ever had a moment where you realize that your emotional intelligence has grown, put it in the comments below. I want to hear what your story was, okay? What was it that lets you know that you had matured in your emotional intelligence i want to hear about it at the end of the day that they gotta end no so that is i just realized that i have totally grown so much and i'm proud of myself now i still haven't gotten my money back for that situation um but like if you've ever had like what are your doordash stories like i'll never use doordash again if i can help it because I don't have many positive DoorDash stories, right? And then it costs more than it should. I might as well just go get it. Uh, so what what kind of what kind of situations have you had with DoorDash? Like how do you handle the situations that don't go right? Get in the comments and let me know that as well because your girl was livid, okay? I was livid. I'm not gonna say the name of the restaurant that I was trying to order from because it's not, there's no slight to them at all. But DoorDash, definitely, your days are fucking numbered. The reason why I feel like you need to include consistent self-care as far as, you know, we're talking about the mentally, physically, and emotional department is because you need to already be practicing these things so that when something happens to knock you off your square, you are used to using these things as tools to get you back in track to, to, to reset your energy, right? Or protect your peace, if you will. Um, and so that's why, you know, mindfulness, meditation, and prayer come into play, right? I have to do those things every day so that I know when something comes to knock me off of my square, I'm not going to automatically react. I'm going to take a deep breath. And while that sounds very, very simple, taking deep breaths it works all right it kind of brings you into the present moment it kind of makes you realize that okay what can i do about this now right yes sometimes you want to be mad but it is counterproductive because what sense does it make to walk around upset especially if it's you know something that wasn't you're doing okay um so i feel like you know mindfulness deep breaths and affirmations, okay? Words of affirmations, speaking words of affirmations to yourself on a regular basis will help as well because you're gonna make a practice out of it and it's gonna become natural and it's gonna be your natural response to when certain things happen. So those are my two tips for this morning. I hope you're having a great Monday morning so far, all right? We're gonna do these morning motivations on Monday to get ourselves set for the week. You know, I wanna make sure that you are reminded to set some intentions for this week, set some goals for this week. And I don't mean professional goals. We're talking wellness goals. I want to make sure that you are prioritizing wellness goals weekly, scheduling time in for self-care, okay? That means you're praying, journaling, working out. You might be paying attention to your nutrition this week, right? You might be, you know, whatever it is that you're gonna need physically, mentally, and emotionally. This is what we wanna work on, okay? So if you need ideas, Drop in the comments below and just say help sis and I got you. I will help you, all right? But as you know, 
you look good. You smell good. Now get out there and do what you said you would. I'm your girl, Demita Joe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.